Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the power of dividend growth company. This isn't financial advice to go and buy any company that I may mention in this video. But let me start off with a story about someone who you might have heard of. Warren Buffett. He's the famous investor and money manager that runs Berkshire Hathaway. So the story starts back in 1988. Warren buys $1 billion worth of Coca-Cola stock. He still owns this stock to this day and he hasn't sold any and doesn't plan on. Now, if we take the share price of the company, that's increased from around $3 back when he bought in 1988, split adjusted, to nearly $55 at the start of this year. They're currently trading at about $48 to $49. Now, some of the numbers I'll use throughout the course of this video are rounded just so that we don't get bogged down in the detail too much and I can convey the points that I'm trying to get across. So he put $1 billion in 30 to 32 years ago and just on the price increase since then, it's now worth north of $15 billion today. So 15 times increase in value around that year. But had he reinvested the dividends each year, that pot would be now worth, do you have a guess? $40 billion. Yeah. Another interesting fact, if we just take the billion dollars invested those 30, 32 years ago, reinvested those dividends, the annual dividends for this year would be $500 million a year. So on the original billion invested, that's a 50% yield on cost without having to touch the investment part of the initial thought, initial billion or the current value of 40 billion, basically. Now, what I want to show you is something to put it into perspective and use an example which you might be able to relate to. So not using big millions and billions numbers because that doesn't help people like me and you, I, I wouldn't imagine. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a spreadsheet and kind of talk you through a few things. So, just imagine my dad from the year I was born in 1990 to me turning 18 in 2008, invested $1,000 each year. And each year, when he invests that $1,000, he reinvests the dividends from the previous year that took go up here. When I turn 18, he then very kindly gives me that pot. And I do nothing with it apart from one thing each year, which is reinvest the dividends until now, when I'm 30. So that $18,000 or £13,000 that my dad's put in over the course of the 18 years and the dividends that were reinvested in that 18 years and the dividends reinvested in the 12 years that when I was holding it, that would be worth $223,000 or £160,000. That's a nice gift. I mean, you could buy or put one hell of a decent deposit down on a house, couldn't you? Or you could leave that money invested with Coca-Cola and pay yourself or in this example, myself, the dividend, which now equates to around £400 a month without touching a £160,000 pot ever. So these graphs, the top left, show you the capital appreciation. In the top right, the dividend yield, which Coca-Cola tried to keep around a 3% yield each year. You can see it dips down in some years because the share price outruns um, what they're paying out in dividend. And then in the bottom left, the dividend growth rate each year, where in the early years it was 10, 15% growth a year. Um, but now it's ended up around the 5 to 6% in most recent years, which is still good, way above the cost of inflation and the price of things increasing. The final graph, the one directly above my head, the yield on cost, is the one to kind of think about here. And it's what it's saying is, for the money you've put in, or in this case, the £13,000 that 
my dad's kindly put in for me in the example. What dividend you are getting, so a 4,800 in dividend a year, divided by the £13,000 investment you put in. So the dividend yield in this case is about 37% in my example. This is the one you really want to try and wrap your head around, yield on cost. That hopefully very, in a short and concise video, puts into perspective why investing and holding on to good quality dividend growth companies is one of the best ways to become wealthier over the long run. That's everything I wanted to cover off in this video. So if stuff like this interests you, then please like the videos as it will encourage me to make more content for you, giving you my view on all things finance, my journey, and hopefully make it interesting along the way. But until next time, stay safe.